they can't get it. Matt Murray, uh, Dagan McDowell, what's your sense of this? They, they, I mean, the young people are going toward Bernie. I feel like it's turning into a generational uh, issue for Hillary, especially if you saw Madeleine Albright and Gloria Steinem come out this weekend and criticize young women for not backing Hillary and saying, what kind of a woman doesn't help another woman? That, I think some people might have found things like that offensive. Their and combined I, age yeah. is 80 years old. I don't, I don't even understand that whole thing. I mean, I heard that about Madeleine Albright yeah. saying that it's absolute crime if a woman doesn't... I mean, aren't we looking at leadership for this country? I mean, be, this, the idea to just vote for someone because they're a woman is just so ridiculous. Yeah. And what hurts Hillary and has hurt her is that she and people who support her see her as the anointed one. Can right. we just hurry up and get on with it? Yeah. She's supposed to be the president here. Yeah. Right. And the more that she at least sends that message to people, the less likely they are going to vote for her. Yeah. Yeah. You're, so, you're so right because there's nobody more qualified than Hillary Clinton. First lady of governor, first lady of the United States, secretary of state, yeah. senator. You would think that there would be a groundswell behind her. But her whole attitude is, wait a minute, I've been working my whole life to be president. When are you going to figure it out? Yeah, on the millennial issue, I think that they have failed to realize that they have to reintroduce the candidate, reintroduce themselves to people. That's right. they, they've sort of assumed a long history of knowledge here. I go back to that debate a couple weeks ago when she talked to the young person, and she said, young person. You might not have been born there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We won. I missed that. We won. And, people, and young people are so skilled at presenting themselves or at least creating a persona on social media, and she is so bad at it. Yeah. That's right. You put her in front of a TV camera, a radio microphone, they try to communicate on social media, and she's just so inauthentic. It's right. like. The, you, I, even the most left-wing liberal, you talk to them, they're like, who is this person? Yeah. Right. She's a shapeshifter. Yeah. Look, it's clear that it's, it, it, it's becoming too late for Biden, but his name is not going away. I mean, even now, people are bringing him up. Well, I hear uh, Mitt Romney and Bloomberg also. So right. it's, uh, That's right. Yeah. So, Do you think so it's me, too late for Bloomberg, or might he actually jump in? I, I think he's going to watch the polls. I think that as long as he feels that there is a race ahead of him, he's not going to, he doesn't want to lose. So he'll go in if he knows he can win. But right now, I think that Donald Trump is really taking all the oxygen out of the room for a win in and, and 